Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and today I want to be thanking Arnold Schwarzenegger um, for his impact in my life. Even though I've never met the gentleman, he's helped me significantly um, through high school and college. A um, couple of weeks ago I brought a video for you guys that the very first person that changed my life in America was my wrestling coach, which taught me what, what a leader is and also taught me what the importance of being a seeker is. You know, you have to seek for information, okay? And with the wrestling coach, I was seeking training videos, how to do moves that the coaches would watch, and they would train their students, and I was going to him to get the video that he used to watch um, so I could take it home and do my homework. But I didn't, at that time, I didn't believe in reading. I just, I did believe in like searching for information, but it was usually audio. Uh, thanks to Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, he changed my life in many different dimensions. The very first way he changed my life is that the ability to work out. You know, when I saw him, that how big he was, and I remember hey, I was a kid and I was like, hey, I wanna be like this guy. And the gym allowed me to spend a lot of time going to the gym versus, versus like going and hanging out with people and doing fun stuff and stuff like that because I, I would remember saying, oh, if I went out, I had to come back home because I had to go to the gym the next day and I, and I, where I was sore things like that. Um, and before I start, you know, working out, I didn't believe in reading. You know, I hated reading. But because I wanted to work out, I started, my very first book I read was Arnold's book. I think it was called like the Encyclopedia of like bodybuilding or something like that. I don't remember the name, it was so long ago. That was the very first book I ever read. And, and I remember reading all the different exercises this guy had. They, they wrote that with Joe Weider. Uh, it was a book like that. And then the next book I read was like the Bible supplements. And, and I learned about all the different supplements and things of that nature. And thanks to him, not only did I got into bodybuilding and working out, which allowed me to go to college and actually excel versus being like a barely passing in high school where I almost got a 4.0 because I wanted, I was studying stuff that was very interesting to me like biomechanics, physics, biology, cells, especially when you're working out. But he also taught me the importance of becoming a, a reader, like getting seeking the information and reading it and then going and applying it, okay? Um, I, there was a quote that I just read yes, last night that said that, you know, knowledge is power, but applied uh, knowledge is freedom. Um, and so many of us gather information, but we never do anything with it because we are too scared or we don't know what to do exactly. So when it's not there to hold our hand or we have a lot of questions in our mind, we're thinking the future, we're thinking the past, and we're not in the present to be able to have faith in our abilities and be like, wow, I'm living and this is a great day. And being able to take the knowledge that Arnold gave me in his book and the motivation that he had given me I was able to just go forward even though I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to work out or anything like that. And from that one step led to other steps where I read more books and more magazines. And eventually I got a degree in kinesiology, which is like sports medicine and how the body works and the biology of it and um, biomechanics of it, you know, and the physics of it and the chemistry of it, etc. cetera, okay? Um, it taught me all this stuff that, that, that a guy that can't even read and spell can go and be almost get a, a, a 4.0 um, because he loves what he wants to do. And that's the thing I try to teach to you guys that uh, thanks to Arnold, and that's why I made this video for him, is thank you so much because you have Im impacted my life in so many different ways uh, from, you know, being a reader, you know, to working out. I'm almost 40 years old and I'm still working out, not as much as I did in college, but still, you know, learning how to eat better food, you know, um, understanding that the difference between crappy food and good food, um, it thinks, you know, and I really appreciate that, uh, Mr. Arnold. And I'm sure we'll never ever meet, but you really impacted my life. I've never met you, and I really, really, really appreciate everything you've done because uh, I could, most of my friends, you know, uh, went to prison or, you know, they got in trouble with the law. None of them got a college degree. And because of my passion of working out and that I wanted to learn more because of you, I was able to go to school and become a student, actually, for once in my life. Um, and it also saved my life. I could really, really say that it saved my life uh, in so many different dimensions. Um, no joke, I wouldn't be half the person if I hadn't started working out, understanding discipline, 
understanding being sore, understanding what it takes to put the work in and not get the fruit for a while to you, to you are able to meet your fitness goals, okay? Because that's what life is about. Um, many of us want to do real estate or be entrepreneur. We want to put the money, we want to put the time in real quick and, and get the result. We're looking for that magic pill. We're looking for that instant gratification. And bodybuilding <clears throat> has helped me realize it's nothing's like that. If you want to get big, if, if you want to have solid muscle, then you have to put the time in. Not only do you have to put the time in the cardio, you have to put the time in into resistant training, you have to put the time in into the food consumptions, you have to put the time in the rest, etc. Okay? It's just not like you just see someone with a great body and you say, oh, they just took a pill. It doesn't work like that. But if it did, everyone would have that. It's a certain type of mindset, eating habit, resistance, cardio, sleeping, um, supplementations that allow that. Okay? Uh, even the guys that use steroids, right, they still have to put in the time and the energy. Okay? Now, that steroids may magnify their work. Right? So if they put this much time in, but it doubles or triples it. Um, but those guys still have to put the work in, and, and, I, and I don't disrespect anyone. It's anyone's choice what, for them to do whatever they want to. Okay? That's the great thing of living in a free country, I guess, um, if it's really free, which I don't think so. Uh, anyways, getting off subject, Arnold, thank you so much for helping me. Um, I'm very grateful to you, and thanks to you, and an impact from a total stranger I've never met in my life has allowed me to emulate, try to help out other people in finances, real estate, business, fitness, uh, and the mindset. Thank you so much, and I really, 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 really wish you the best in your family. Thank you.